perhaps the most famous of all conspiracies, Flat Earth theory posits that our planet is a flat disk rather than a globe, surrounded by an ice wall that contains the oceans. Proponents argue that satellite images and space exploration are part of a vast conspiracy to deceive the public about Earth's true shape. Some Flat Earth believers claim that gravity is an illusion, and that objects fall due to the disk accelerating upwards through space. The theory suggests that the Sun and Moon are small objects circling above the flat Earth, creating day and night cycles. Supporters point to the apparent flatness of the horizon, and the lack of curvature visible from ground level as evidence for their beliefs. Some flat Earth advocates argue that circumnavigation of the globe is actually circular movement around a flat disk, with the North Pole at the center. The theory often incorporates alternative explanations for natural phenomena, such as eclipses and seasons, based on the flat Earth model. Despite overwhelming scientific evidence to the contrary, the flat Earth community continues to grow, organizing conferences and conducting experiments to support their views. Flatland UFO theory proposes that UFOs are actually higher dimensional beings or objects visiting our three-dimensional reality. This concept draws inspiration from Edwin Abbott's book, Flatland, which explores how beings from higher dimensions would appear to lower dimensional entities. Proponents argue that the seemingly impossible maneuvers and appearances of UFOs can be explained by their ability to move in four or more spatial dimensions. Just as a three-dimensional sphere passing through a two-dimensional plane would appear to change size and shape, a four-dimensional object passing through our space might exhibit similarly bizarre behavior. Supporters of this theory point to the sudden appearances, disappearances, and apparent shape-shifting abilities often reported in UFO sightings as evidence of higher-dimensional interactions. Some theorists suggest that these higher-dimensional beings might perceive our reality as we would view a two-dimensional image, allowing them to observe and interact with us in ways we cannot fully comprehend. The Flatland UFO theory has been discussed by prominent ufologists like Jacques Vallée, who proposed that UFOs might originate from a multiverse beyond our space-time. This concept extends beyond UFOs, with some applying it to other paranormal phenomena such as ghosts, cryptids, and even religious experiences, positioning it as a potential unified theory for unexplained events. Flight MH370 refers to the Malaysia Airlines Boeing 777 that vanished on March 8, 2014, while en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 239 people on board. The aircraft's last known location was recorded by Malaysian military radar over the South China Sea after which contact was lost. An extensive international search operation involving 26 countries focused on the southern Indian Ocean, based on satellite pings received from the aircraft. Despite being the largest and most expensive search in aviation history, no significant wreckage was found until a flaperon washed up on Reunion Island in July 2015. Several theories attempt to explain the disappearance, including pilot suicide, hijacking, mechanical failure, and accidental shoot-down during a military exercise. The pilot suicide theory is supported by evidence from the captain's home flight simulator, which reportedly showed a route into the Indian Ocean. The hijacking theory lacks credibility due to the absence of any group claiming responsibility or ransom demands. Mechanical failure seems unlikely due to the lack of distress signals or emergency communications from the crew. The accidental shoot-down theory has been firmly denied by the countries allegedly involved. The mystery of MH370 has led to significant changes in international aviation safety regulations, including the implementation of better aircraft tracking systems. Fluoride dangers refer to potential health risks associated with excessive fluoride exposure, beyond its known benefits for dental health. Studies have shown that high fluoride intake during tooth formation can lead to dental fluorosis, characterized by staining and, in severe cases, enamel loss. Long-term excessive fluoride consumption has been linked to skeletal fluorosis, a bone disease causing pain and potential disability. Research funded by the National Institutes of Health 
found an association between higher prenatal fluoride exposure and lower cognitive test scores in children. Some studies have suggested a connection between high fluoride levels and thyroid dysfunction, with one UK study reporting a 30% higher rate of underactive thyroid in fluoridated water areas. Concerns have been raised about fluoride's potential impact on kidney function, as it is primarily excreted through the kidneys. Animal studies have indicated a possible link between high fluoride exposure and reduced fertility, though human studies remain inconclusive. As a result of these potential risks, some countries in Europe have opted not to fluoridate their water supplies, instead exploring alternative methods of promoting dental health. Forced soul removal refers to the theory that an individual's soul or consciousness can be forcibly separated from their physical body. This concept draws from historical spiritual practices involving soul transference and modern interpretations of consciousness manipulation. Proponents point to near-death experiences and out-of-body phenomena as potential evidence for the possibility of soul displacement. Some theorists link this idea to quantum physics, suggesting that consciousness arises from quantum processes in brain cells which could potentially be manipulated. The notion of forced soul removal has been explored in science fiction, often depicted as a form of advanced consciousness transfer technology. Supporters of this theory sometimes cite advancements in artificial intelligence and attempts to digitize human consciousness as steps toward making soul removal a reality. Ethical considerations surrounding this concept include potential misuse and the violation of personal identity and human rights. The Four Corners Face Theory proposes that human faces can be divided into four distinct regions, each linked to different personality traits and elements. The upper left corner represents intellect and is associated with air. The upper right corner embodies passion and drive, connected to fire. The lower left corner expresses emotions and empathy, linked to water. The lower right corner signifies stability and practicality, tied to earth. Proponents argue this theory aligns with established research on facial expressions, such as Paul Ekman's facial action coding system. Some believe the four corners face concept could be applied in fields like interpersonal communication and psychotherapy to better understand individuals' emotional states and motivations. While not widely accepted in mainstream science, this theory encourages exploration of the complex relationships between facial features, personality, and emotional expression. Fractalization refers to the process of creating fractals, which are infinitely complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. This concept suggests that the structure of the universe itself may be fractal-like, with similar patterns repeating at vastly different scales. Fractals are found throughout nature, from the branching of trees to the structure of snowflakes and the coastlines of continents. In mathematics, famous fractals include the Mandelbrot set, Julia set, and Koch curve. Computer science utilizes fractals for image compression and generating realistic natural textures and graphics. Biological systems often display fractal properties, such as in the structure of lungs, blood vessels, and even brain activity patterns. The prevalence of fractals in nature may be due to how structures grow through processes of replication and self-similarity. Fractals are closely linked to chaos theory, as many chaotic systems produce fractal patterns. Francis Levy's handprint refers to a mysterious imprint allegedly left by a Chicago firefighter on a window, which remained visible for decades after his death. In 1924, firefighter Francis Levy was cleaning a window at a Chicago firehouse when he suddenly announced a premonition of his imminent death. The very next day, Levy and several of his colleagues perished while fighting a massive fire at a building in Chicago. Following the tragedy, Levy's colleagues noticed a strange smudged handprint on the window he had been cleaning the day before. Despite repeated attempts to remove it, the handprint reportedly remained visible on the window for years. Many believed this handprint was a supernatural message or sign left by Levy's spirit. The phenomenon attracted significant attention, with numerous people visiting the firehouse to witness the mysterious imprint. Some paranormal investigators suggest that intense emotional states or traumatic events can imprint energy onto physical objects. 
potentially explaining the persistent handprint. The window bearing the handprint was eventually destroyed in 1944 during an accident at the firehouse, ending the physical evidence of this unusual occurrence. While skeptics argue the handprint may have been a product of suggestion or simply a stubborn smudge, many continue to view it as evidence of the paranormal, 